Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a video on a road trip that I'm going to be taking to uh, New York City. I'm heading to Manhattan. I'm going to spend a weekend there with my wife and uh, visiting a family member, and we're going to do a little bit of sightseeing. So I'm just going to go and uh, so I'm just going to go and I'm going to do a little bit of a vlog on my my trip uh, to New York. <laughs> All right, so my car's currently charging at uh, 25 miles per hour. I'm charging here at home, uh, my garage, uh, 240 volt. So I got 156 miles on there right now. Um, and I'm actually, I'm gonna go ahead, I'll uh, hit the, you know, the lightning button here, the, you know, so that's the charging button. And it'll give me, I guess, how long it'll take to charge it to full. Um, so what we need to do here is um, we need to raise this. So we're gonna actually, hit the set limit button. Uh, so we're gonna hit the set limit button and we're gonna raise this all the way to 100%. Uh, so after that, we're gonna, because normally what I do is I keep it at 90 at least, you know, 80 or 90. But um, since we're doing our trip to New York, I'm gonna be setting that up to 100. Hit done. And uh, we'll see at the end how many miles and it's gonna, it'll be an interesting thing also because I think it's the first time that I really charge it to 100. Um, since I bought the car, remember, this is a three-year-old battery with 46,000 miles, somewhere around there. 46 to 48, I don't remember. Uh, actually, we can see how many miles we got. 47,833 miles is what I have now. So... Um, you'll see, I guess, what the de de degradation does to the car. Um, and I haven't charged in a long time at a supercharger. So we'll be charging on the supercharger on this trip, on the supercharger network for Tesla. So this is the beginning of the trip. This is how I'm preparing. And uh, everything else is set to go. So I'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, I'm about to head out on my trip um, to New York from uh, Maryland. And uh, I've charged the car full. It's showing uh, 234. I'm actually didn't take a picture of it when I first got it, but um, I'm up here getting some coffee. So we're at 226, a couple miles away from my house. Um, go ahead and uh, put the navigation in and uh, we'll be out on the road. All right, so we're beginning our trip. Um, you know, it, it selected a supercharger that's halfway between New York. And um, so we're gonna start following that. And, uh, but eventually I think I'm gonna stop in uh, right before I get to New York in order to have a full charge when I'm actually in New York. The other thing that I did was um, you go to driving mode. I put this on range mode so that it maximizes the uh, my range, you know, for the battery. Uh, so it says range mode will save energy by reducing climate control power. Also distribute torque between the motors to improve range. Heating and cooling may be less effective in the cabin. So that's it. We're going to head out and we're going to get on the road. <laughs> So we're in a uh, station here in Delaware, somewhere, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and charge. And we'll just wait here. All right, so we're here in New Jersey at the Wawa, <laughs> charging, and uh, it says 35 minutes to charge, 310 miles an hour. Uh, so we're just gonna wait here, and, uh, and I'll be out of here once uh, we're done. So we're at a mall here in somewhere outside of New York. I think we're in New Jersey somewhere. I don't know what mall this is, but there's like 20 bays here. Whole lot of parking. Only thing is you gotta pay about $3 for the uh, parking garage here, but it's not a big deal. Um, I'm just gonna charge my car here for probably a good 50 minutes. I only had about 30 miles when I got here. So right before I go into the city, I'm just gonna charge up and I'll uh, be ready to go. I'm probably gonna park the car in the city anyway, so. That's gonna be it. So 
What do you do while your Tesla charges? You go to the Cheesecake Factory and get a drink. All right, so we're walking around the streets of New York and it is really cold. So we're using a little bit of old school transportation. It's not electric, but well, actually it is electric. So we're at Times Square now, just walking around. Somebody's had a couple drinks, but it's all good. We're at the uh, Statue of Liberty Museum. One thing I'll say about the Model X is <laughs> coming through these cities, this panoramic roof or whatever roof is incredible when you're driving through the city because you can see all the high rise buildings uh, pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So it gives you a nice tour of the city. All right, so we left New York. We're actually stopping here at a, uh, what is it, Quick Check? Never heard of them, but, um, but they have several Tesla chargers here and they have gas and uh, so it's probably gonna be one stop for me here and uh, you know it's about 300 miles from my house to uh, to new york and you know so the car does about 234 is what it, it you know it charged at when i was at full max charge um and uh, so really with one stop you can make it all the way to new york uh, so it's pretty convenient you know this has been probably a uh, 40 minute stop actually less than that 25 minutes stop because i charged before i got to new york so i didn't have to charge while i was you know the whole time i was in new york um but i'll talk about that a little later i didn't um didn't really use the car much when i was in new york i just parked it and that's how it is in new york you just get around on the subway get around in public transportation you know taxis uh ubers and things like that but um i'll talk a little bit about that in a little bit so this is my charge here i'm about to actually finish up so Go. Hello, hello. So we're right now. We're actually on our way back from New York. Um, just wanted to, I guess, do a little summary on how everything went. Um, uh, currently, about an hour. Actually, probably about three hours away still, um, or less. Eighty-seven miles. So, um, actually, that's from the next charger. So I am driving back, uh, probably another two and a half hour drive. Um, the drive to New York went really well. Uh, I had to stop twice on the way there just because I wanted to charge before I got to New York. Um, just so I don't have to worry about looking for a supercharge in the middle of the city, um, which there are, you know, there's several charges there. But there's charges up and down, you know, the New Jersey Turnpike. Um, there's charges all over in New York. Uh, but everything went pretty smoothly. I didn't use the car much while I was there. Um, we do have cold weather right now, so I know sometimes that'll affect the battery. I know I was keeping an eye on the battery while I was parked because we got there on Friday evening and we didn't uh, move the car at all up until last night. I moved it to a parking garage. There's parking garages in New York. If you remember in New York, about 60, well, the ones that were around where I was were $65 a night. So, I was able to find some street parking that you could park there on the weekend. So I didn't pay for Friday or Sunday, actually for Friday or Saturday. 
um, but I did move it on Sunday because I couldn't find anywhere to park it. Um, so that was pretty much it, but I kept an eye on the Tesla through the app, the mobile app, because I was wondering about the any drain on the battery. Uh, so when I parked it, I think I had 40, 146 miles left on it. And when I picked it up, there was 143, I think. So it lost about three miles um, over the two days that it was parked. Now, I didn't have any of the climate control on. Um, I guess it's just regular, you know, the car being on. I don't know, maybe you need to just turn it off completely. Um, but there was, you know, just keep that in mind if you're, if you're gonna leave it for a longer period of time. Uh, other than that, the autopilot's incredible. I'm driving right now, I'm an autopilot. Um, so the autopilot's incredible. Uh, you know, it was pretty easy. This is my second long trip and it's, uh, it, 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 it's very easy. I mean, you get used to the superchargers. You don't have to wait that long usually at them. And they're, they are absolutely everywhere. There's superchargers everywhere, everywhere you go. So that's it for my trip to New York. I'm on the way back. It's, you know, this shouldn't be anything, you know, eventful. Um, you know, it's about a 300 mile trip. And uh, I just want to thank you. You know, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe if you want to. And uh, hit the like button, notification bell, and I'll see you at the next video.